Brought to you by Almond Auctions, the worldwide leader in antique tractor auctions. Whether you like your classic tractors built before 1930 or sometime later, we hope you'll connect with Classic Tractor Fever on social media. Search for Classic Tractor Fever on the web and you'll find photos, updates on new episodes, tractor videos, and a whole lot more. So find and follow Classic Tractor Fever on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and YouTube. Well, one of the fascinating things to look at at the pre-30 auction are the crawlers. And uh, you guys know just a little bit about some of these crawlers. Which one's the best crawler, Tom? The best is the best. <laughs> so right behind me is a 1925 Best 60, 75 before the transition from Best to Caterpillar. Uh, original tractor, ran a sawmill, has a belt pulley on the back, has original undercarriage, so it's the best. And those guys back in the day, the crawler guys, kind of had things figured out, didn't they? Well, uh, at least one of them did. So we had a competition between Holt and Best. Holt was based in Stockton, California. Best was in San Leandro, California. And Holt put tracks on a tractor first because of the soft soils of the San Joaquin Valley. Uh, and then CL Best came along and he improved on everything. And you know, Holt gets the credit, which he should, for putting tracks on it, but Best was really the best. I mean, he was the innovator. And Chad, is that how you see things? Is Best the best? Absolutely. <laughs> so tell us just a little bit about why you have a passion for these crawler tractors. Well, uh, my father uh, ran equipment in Vietnam and uh, has always wanted a Caterpillar as long as I could remember and and later in life we uh, started collecting and restoring tractors together as a family. So besides the best 60 what else is in the lineup here at the pre-30 auction that looks pretty good? There's a diverse uh, collection of, of Caterpillar equipment here at the, at the pre-30 auction. Uh, there's Cat 10s, there's uh, small and large 15, small and large 20s, a Cat 30 and of course the best 60. And in California, tell us about the kinds of things they did with crawlers back in the day. Anything you can think of. I mean, they, everything you did with your steam engines and with your prairie tractors out here, plowing, uh, pulling your harvester, uh, but you could put a blade on it and make it a bulldozer. Uh, you could pull grain, you could freight with it. I mean, anything. You could pump water with it. Uh, with the belt pulley attachment, you could do just about anything. And what's the attraction of pre-1930 kinds of things? Obviously lots of really cool stuff here. Some of it uh, still in working condition, original condition, still running. Uh, what is the attraction of this stuff that maybe is 100 years old in some cases? Uh, I myself, I like the pre-30 stuff. That, that's an example of you know the tractors that was pre and post merger, the first generation of Caterpillar equipment right after the merger. And Tom? Well, I'm a little bit different. I'm pre-April of 25. So that's when Best bought a controlling interest in Holt and formed the Caterpillar Tractor Company. And um, so I like the stuff pre-merger. Getting a crawler in uh, running condition like this Best 60 is, uh, is that something that's uh, more of a challenge maybe than some of the guys that are dealing with John Deere's and that kind of thing? Well, there's not near as many crawlers out there as there is wheel tractors. Um, and finding them in running condition definitely saves you a lot of work. But as far, as far as getting them in running condition, there are probably four or five times as many parts in a Best 60 as there are in a John Deere D uh, from the same era. So we have this debate going on, original versus restored. What's your opinion? So I'll start with you, Chad. Uh, I prefer original, uh, but there is times when you get a project in that you just don't have any choice, but but you have to paint them. So, prefer original. And Tom, barn fresh. Yeah, I, I've got I've got both. Uh, you know, this this one here was painted probably 30 years ago, so you don't have any choice with that. It's starting to look weathered now, but if you can find them, you can always paint them. But when you find that original patina, like that beautiful Yale motorcycle in there. Anybody who'd get that and paint it should be shot, basically. If you have something that nice that's original, keep it that way. You can always paint it later on, but please don't. And so tell me a little bit about why you decided that uh, the Almond Pre-30 auction is a place where you wanted to sell a little bit of uh, what you have. I 
chose uh, Almond Auctions because Kurt Almond is honest and I want to work with an honest auctioneer and an honest person somebody who's going to tell you the truth they're going to tell you what they think something's going to bring um, they have a loyal clientele because they know that that's the kind of person he is and that's the only kind of person that I'm going to work with. Chad? I myself it's it's the integrity and uh, just the sheer volume of, of potential bidders that he brings to the table. All right, you guys are going to be sellers. Are you going to be bidders maybe tomorrow as well? We'll see if something falls down. I don't have my eye on a specific thing, but if there's something that falls down that I kind of like, it could happen. <laughs> I've got a bidder number. <laughs> He's got a bidder number. Hey, guys, thanks for sharing a little bit of insight on uh, classic crawler tractors. Appreciate it. Thank you very much for having us. Thank you. One more time, let's guess the price on the Almond Tractor Auction Block. This time around, it's a 1925 Best 60 Crawler Tractor built in California. Just 75 serial numbers prior to the end of Best Production and the creation of Caterpillar. This Best 60 spent its working life in a sawmill in Missouri, and it's a great surviving example that runs and works just like it should. So what do you think this one brings at the Almond Auction? Make your best guess and we'll have the answer when we come back.